quick everybody and especially the men we're going to talk about something which is never ever ever talked about skincare and that's why we're going to talk about Tiege Handley. So it's only recently that I actually started like moisturizing and really kind of like caring for my skin. I kind of realized I'm getting old and I don't want to look old. So that is why we're talking about uncomplicated, that's right, uncomplicated skincare for men. Because I didn't really know where to start, and that's where Tiege Handley with the description box kind of came into play. It's a super easy skincare system. You have like washes, an AM, and a PM moisturizer. So like it's pretty tried and true, and it's pretty straightforward, which is definitely what I needed because I had no where like I had no idea where to start to be honest with you. And this Tiege Handley actually cuts out the middleman, like so they make the products, they send them directly to you. You're actually gonna save a lot of money while still getting high quality skincare products. And of course they actually have free shipping across the US and for other countries it's only a couple bucks. So with their boxes they have different levels. The two products that I like the most actually is one, the eyes cream. Yes, that's right, the eyes cream. And it's actually this super serum. Why? Because I find these are really providing that moisture and that benefit that I need, especially around here. Getting old, y'all. And with the membership, it's worry-free. So they're gonna give you your shipping reminders, it's also easy cancellation, there's no hassle of returns. So really, what do you gotta lose? And because Tiege Hanley is sponsoring the video, they're actually offering a free toiletry bag with your first order. So, get started by clicking that link, the first link in the description down below, and you guys should start for only 25 bucks. So what are you waiting for? Click that link, Tiege Hanley, let's get some skincare. Good everybody yes that's right it's still technically morning that's right it's about 11 a.m almost 12 p.m whatever it is so today we are here at box marley's jamaican kitchen that's right box marley sounds like bob marley but it's box marley and today guys we got some very special endeavors going on first off guys we got a jamaican jerk sandwich challenge yes that's right jerk chicken jamaican jerk chicken sandwich challenge that's right so this can be an absolutely massive amount of sandwiches i'm gonna get you the details here just momentarily looks really good we got time limit blah 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 blah, blah. but I've heard this is delicious food. I love jerk. I love Jamaican food. And you guys have been asking for Jamaican food, so I'm so excited to finally be bringing you today some Jamaican food. So let's go on in, have some fun, eat some food, and let's get going. Hi everyone, so here we are, the absolute biggest Jamaican jerk chicken sandwich. So this looks absolutely delicious. It smells great. So guys, we only got to here 20 minutes, 20 minutes to crush this thing. Hopefully it is going to be enough time. Um, it is overall eight of their Jamaican jerk sandwiches. Like this thing is a monster. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's absolutely huge. So we got coleslaw in here, guys. We have some scotch bonnet mayonnaise. We have their yard barbecue sauce, jerk chicken, lettuce, all the above. So super excited. Let's dig into this and uh, wish me luck. All right, everybody, so let's get started here. I don't know. I like jerk chicken though. This looks really delicious. So let's get going. I'll say the count of five, four, three, two, one. Biggest Jamaican jerk chicken sandwich. Hopefully this stands up. Let's start right now. Mm. Oh yeah. Mmm. I have the toppings for that, but damn. All right, that jerk, whoa, that is delicious. 
Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Box Marley's Jamaican Kitchen in Waterloo, Ontario. So, it's been a while since I've been back in Ontario, so I decided to do a number of things while I was in the area. So here I've taken on what is undoubtedly the world's biggest Jamaican jerk chicken sandwich challenge, or I guess, you know, you could maybe just call it a stack of sandwiches, but nonetheless. So, Jamaican jerk chicken guys, you guys have been wanting Jamaican food, and I'm so excited to finally be bringing you some Jamaican food, and very delicious Jamaican food at that. More specifically, delicious Jamaican making jerk sandwiches at that and a number of them holy jumpets there was definitely a good pile of sandwiches love the flavors on that that's for sure give it a spice so each of the sandwiches consisted of a cocoa bun, then they had the boneless uh, Jamaican jerk chicken, then they had the lettuce, they had a scotch bonnet mayonnaise, and a yard style barbecue sausage they make there, which was very, very good. The sauces were very, very delicious, and I really liked the jerk flavor on the chicken as well. I love the taste of jerk chicken though. So in regards to taste, like just absolutely fantastic. Was really enjoying it. The cocoa bun, you know, the way I would describe it is it kind of like, if you've ever had a, had a Hawaiian roll, I'd say it's kind of like that. Um, it is a pretty dense bread itself, but it was very soft. Um, almost, I don't want to say quite a bit of, it, it, it didn't taste like coconut. Um, and it didn't necessarily have a sweetness, but I would probably describe it as a sweeter bread in general. Um, but yeah, so besides that, guys, we had the eight sandwiches here stacked in the massive, massive pile. Uh, 20 minutes to do so. I wasn't sure necessarily how these were going to go down. I mean, the flavors were absolutely exceptional, but I was uh, a little worried at first. Um, but that being said, everything was just so moist. Everything was so juicy. Um, and, like these things were just, you know, very easy to get down. Like I said, the flavor, the flavors, I mean, the excellent flavors definitely helps with that. Um, but yeah, so seriously, like very delicious. Uh, really, really like actually I enjoyed this way more than I thought I would like an excellent, excellent sandwich that I would definitely recommend to anybody. All right, so we're probably somewhere about maybe three-ish minutes in. Very delicious, love this. Just great flavors. So with the jerk chicken, they do have like the option, I get it, what they call a mild or a spicy. Um, I did go with the spicy version of the jerk chicken. And while I wouldn't say it was like deathly spicy by any means, and I think if I just would have ate one, um, I wouldn't have really noticed the spice too much or it just would have been a very uh, nice, enjoyable, palatable spice. But I did notice as I went on with all the sandwiches, the spice was definitely building. Ooh, three left. Part of the spice building again was probably my problem. While yes, it was kind of building in my mouth, it was also building like all around my lips and my face, just because obviously I'm kind of shoving the food and the spices are making contact with, you know, the area in and around my lips, plus my lips. So, I mean, if you're eating this a little more carefully, I guess there maybe I would have felt the spice a little less. But like I said, as each of the sandwiches went on, I did notice the spice to build up a bit more and a bit more. And while I absolutely do love spicy food, I love of spicy food. Um, in challenges, I don't like spicy food. I find when I eat large quantities of food and spice, it just really doesn't sit well in my stomach. Um, but this was a, uh, like, even though I was getting to the point where I was like, this is kind of spicy, this was still a very enjoyable level of spice, even in this quantity. Um, so very delicious. And if you like spice at all, I would definitely recommend going with the spicy uh, version of their jerk chicken. I didn't find it again, over overwhelming or over overly spicy. And that's even me saying this after, you know, eating seven, you know, plus sandwiches. Spice is starting to build up a bit from that scotch bonnet mayo. While I do think the scotch bonnet mayo had some spice to it, again, I think a lot of it had to do with me picking this spicy jerk uh, chicken um, versus, you know, the mild or more normal variant. But everybody, that's pretty much all the information I have for you today. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Like I said, very delicious food, guys. A really unique challenge. Really happy to uh, finally bring you some jerk food, some Caribbean cuisine that you've long been asking for. So guys, I do read your comments. I really appreciate you all. Um, let me know down below what you think. And ultimately, what is your favorite style of Jamaican cuisine? I think mine, hmm, well, I don't know. I really like jerk chicken, and now I really like this jerk chicken sandwich. But let me know your favorite Caribbean cuisine down below or specifically Jamaican item you know another one I really like I like bun and cheese that's right if you know what that is shout out to bun and cheese and with that enjoy the rest of the video
very delicious. Shout out to Jamaica and the Caribbean. Caribbean. That chicken is just so good. We're done. Woo! All right. I don't have an exact time, but that was very, very delicious. Love the flavors. That jerk, oh my gosh. The jerk chicken on the sandwich. Chicken was boneless. They make it all here. Absolutely delicious. Those sauces, that yard style barbecue sauce. Nice sweetness. That mayo. Nice richness. Woo! Definitely my mouth burned a bit though. Like I said, after all that, the, the spice definitely built up. But very delicious to everybody. If you enjoy seeing me crush large quantities of food like this, guys, please hit that like button. It really helps keep me motivated. I really appreciate the support. Also, let me know down below, guys, what you overall think of this. But I loved it. Jerk chicken was fantastic. Huge thanks to Box Miley's for having me out here. I tell you what, I think I'm gonna have to try a few more items. That was fantastic. With that, everybody, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. So, of course, till next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating, Jamaican food. You guys asked for it. Here I am delivering. So, till next time, have a lovely day. Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.